Hello YouTube, welcome to the garage. Today we're going to be mixing up some phosphoric acid rust converting solution and the reason I use phosphoric acid is it interacts with the iron oxide which is rust and converts it to an iron phosphate which is inert and it won't rust anymore. And the best concentration to use for that process is between 25 and 30 percent. If you use anything higher than that what will happen is after all of the iron oxide is converted to iron phosphate there's going to be some residual acid left over and that's how you end up with kind of a white powdery substance on, on whatever it is you're trying to uh, uh, treat the rust on so 25 to 30 percent and you know I wanted to show you quickly how I mix it up but uh, as far as you can buy phosphoric acid at pretty much any concentration you want 25 30 percent and then, then this first step I'm going to show you, you won't have to do. But I like to buy it at a more concentrated, um, you know, I've got the 85% here. It lasts a lot longer because I can dilute it. And I'm going to show you how to dilute it. But like I said, if you want to buy it at 25 or 30%, by all means, uh, and skip this first step. So as far as the formula for doing it, you know, I've, my, I want 30%. And, but I have the 85%. So what you do is you take the 30% and you divide it by the percentage of the acid that you have. Okay, And then you multiply that by the volume, the amount of, of solution you want to end up in the end. And this I'm going to make a, a 2,000 milliliters of it, or 2 liters of it. Multiply that by 2,000. And you get about, you know, 705 milliliters, about 700 milliliters. Okay, that's how much acid you, at 85%, you need to mix with water up to 2,000 milliliters to end up with 30%. So, like I said, you need 700 milliliters, about 700 milliliters of acid, and then you'll need about 1,300 milliliters of water to end up with, 2,000 milliliters or 2 liters of 30% solution. So what I did to make it easy is uh, I took my, this is my dedicated jug that I use for mixing up the solution. So I have a, a line at 1,300 milliliters and I already mixed it with water and if I put fill it up to this 2,000 about 700 milliliters of acid of the 85% I'm going to end up with 30% acid here. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do that, but gloves and a face shield. And the reason that I uh, have the 1300 milliliters of water in there first is you always add acid. You do not add water to acid. You add acid to water. So that's why this first one is how much water I'm going to need to end up with 30%. So I said I'm going to add the acid to this. Safety is up to you. Make sure you have your PPE, but also do it correctly. You add acid. So I'm going to take, got my little funnel here. I'm going to take my added my acid here and I'm going to add it real slowly until I get to my mark there. It's nice and slow because it will have a chemical reaction. You don't want it to get too hot. Nice and slow. There we go. All right, put the cap on back on this. All right. Okay, now. I've got my 30% phosphoric acid solution 
And that'll work just fine in and of itself if you want to use it as a rust converter. But there's other things that you can add to it that make it better. Which would be surfactants and wetting agents. Okay. A good wetting agent is ethyl alcohol. Either ethyl or methyl alcohol. You can use isopropyl alcohol if you don't have ethyl or methyl alcohol. But the vapor pressure of ethyl and methyl alcohol is higher. So this will evaporate faster and, you know, as opposed to the isopropyl alcohol. Although, like I said, it will work, but uh, just this works faster. And the reason you want to use alcohol, it's a wetting agent. It helps spread the phosphoric acid through the, uh, whatever it is you're spraying. It helps it permeate and work better. So, and you can use it with just the alcohol as a wetting agent, but the um, ratio of alcohol to wetting agent, excuse me, alcohol to the solution is 20 parts of the solution to one part alcohol, 20 to one. All right, so we got 2000 milliliters. So the 20 to one ratio would be 100 milliliters of the alcohol to the two liters so I've got my little measuring cup here I'm going to measure out 100 milliliters of the ethyl alcohol there we go thereabouts I'm going to go ahead and I have my face shield down, I'm going to add that. Okay. All right, now you can use this just like this. I said you can use it just the phosphoric acid by 30% by itself. But if you add a wetting agent to it, it helps it, like I said, permeate whatever it is you're, you're working on and helps the solution work better. But in addition to that, you can also add a little bit of dish soap to it is a surfactant which again just helps the acid permeate the uh, the rust and also it's a has a cleaning effect if there's any oils or stuff stuff on it it'll cut through that all to enhance the effectiveness of the acid now as far as the amount of dish soap it's about a tablespoon per gallon which works out to about four milliliters per um, liter of solution here and what I did is I have a so since I have two liters that means you would want eight milliliters of dish soap and I just have a little six millimeter syringe and I've got as much you know so it's got eh, maybe seven milliliters in there and but that, you know that's close enough so I'm just going to mix that in there again I got my face shield down okay put the lid on that the old mixerino and the reason I put these markings on here is I'll make this repeatable that way it's easy for me to make another batch of this I, I don't have to do any calculation I just 1300 milliliters of water 700 milliliters of the 85 percent phosphoric acid then add my one part of ethyl alcohol the 100 milliliters and then just a syringe full 
you know, since I just, this is dedicated to this process. I just have this and this is what I use it for. I don't use it for anything else. So that way it's repeatable. I can make, you know, new batches of this stuff over and over. And this is actually warm. You can, you know, the chemical reaction between the water and the phosphoric acid that actually makes it warm. It's not hot, but it's, it's warm. So that's why you have to use your PPE and also um, add slowly. And I can't stress enough, add acid. Do not add water to acid. So that in a nutshell is how you mix it up. Um, you want it however you end up with the 30%, whether you buy it at 30% or you mix it 30%, then it's 20 parts solution to one part of the alcohol I said methyl and ethyl alcohol are better than isopropyl but you can use isopropyl so and then uh, as far as soap one tablespoon per gallon or four milliliters per liter and I'm gonna make a video where I demonstrate using this as a rust converter this also works great as a cleaning agent I've got some um, alloy rims that I've used this on and it works well as a cleaning agent but I'm not going to waste your time here so I think that's about it so that's how you mix up the phosphoric acid rust converter uh, if you have any questions you know leave them in the comments I, I hope I, I covered everything and um, you know the deal like and subscribe I'll see you in the next video